Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here. I am the product specialist for our Nobo products here at Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 No Boundaries 19.6. This is a really cool floor plan, offers you a front uh, Murphy bed system there with a couch on the slide out and a beautiful bathroom in the back. So first thing I wanna jump into with you guys today is the overall length and the weight of this trailer. From pin to bumper, you're looking at a rough, uh, rough length of 24 feet and five inches. The other thing too is that weight, right? So with something like this, your dry weight is roughly around 4,300 pounds. So if you have that you know, larger size SUV or a half ton truck, it's gonna be very capable for towing something like this. Now let's jump into the construction in Nobo because they do things a little different at the factory. Something like this here, complete aluminum frame and block foam insulated, but a cool touch that they add in here is Asdell wallboard construction. So what Nobo has done is they've taken out the old Luon wood uh, backer in behind their fiberglass and have added in that Asdell. And Asdell gives you a lighter weight construction, it's moisture wicking, and it's actually environmentally friendly too. Now, when we talk a little bit about the construction behind this Nobo too, one of our favorite features is the suspension here. And this particular floor plan, you actually have a tandem axle. So it's much nicer for towing, gives you that safety factor too. If you ever have a blow going down the highway, you have that solid axle still on the ground. Now, talking about that suspension too, this is an independent rubber ride suspension, so no leaf springs whatsoever. If you wanna take this trailer off-road, which is, it is designed to do, it's gonna help roll with that um, uneven terrain, just like your vehicle, so it actually helps reduce that trailer sway factor, plus with that rubberized, uh, rubberized suspension, it eliminates those vibrations from passing back inside this trailer. While we're on the topic of construction, let's talk about the front of this trailer. This actually has what's called a full molded fiberglass cap. So with something like this, the main design is to help protect that main seal on the top of the trailer from ever separating and allowing water inside the front. So essentially, this is never going to delaminate on you or cause those bubbles like you've maybe seen on other fiberglass trailers, and it gives it a real sharp look. Um, the other big addition that you get out of something like this is it has a full windshield up in the front there. This is automotive grade windshield glass too, so if you do have a rock that flies up there and chips that, you can easily fill it just like you can on your vehicle. Just below that, what you're going to see on this particular Nobo is we have a power tongue jack here, so it's very easy for hooking up. Um, you don't have to do any of the cranking or anything like that. It's a simple push of a button, it brings it up and then brings it back down onto your vehicle. And they give you a nice little light there too, so if you're hooking up in the dark. Just behind that, you're going to have your 20 pound propane tank here, and of course, a spot for a dual battery setup if you needed to. The reason why we recommend a dual battery on this particular trailer is there is a solar prep up on the roof there. So if you did want to go with a solar panel on there, a dual battery would be perfect for something like that. Now, as we work our way back, let's talk about some of the really cool features here. What you're going to see is a beautiful front storage compartment that stretches all the way through to the other side there. So if you want to bring, say, large camp chairs with you, um, a barbecue or things like that, you're definitely going to have the storage for it. Another little touch on their storage doors that's really nice is this actually pulls down and you'll see there's a little magnet here. These little details on a trailer make a world of difference because for an example, if you had the plastic clips here, they always end up breaking off in the cold. So something like this, it's much easier to use and it's gonna last the life of the trailer. As we work our way through, you're gonna notice there's a beautiful power awning here with a nice LED light strip. And this actually stretches all the way across this trailer. So you're gonna have a plenty of space here to set up a, a table um, or something like that. And you'll be out of the rain or out of the sun. Now, just below that, you'll notice I actually have the table from the inside brought out here. And the reason why is we wanted to show you guys, this is a freestanding table, so you can bring it inside or out, whatever you may choose to do. As we work our way through, you'll also notice there's a, nice little, uh, there's a nice little railing here so you can set up an outside grill. And they do run a gas connection underneath that right off the 20 pound propane tank so you're not gonna be bringing those small little bottles with you. Just beside this railing, you also have an outside spray port. This is a high pressure spray port too. And it's a really nice feature to have on a Nobo because this is designed for that type of camper that wants to go off-road, you know, maybe bring those mountain bikes with you, maybe bring the kayaks, things like that. So to have a way to spray down your toys once you're done using them is a great feature to have. Now, 
As we work our way through here, I want to touch again on a couple of the big construction details here. For an example, if you look inside the wheel well of a No Boundaries trailer, they actually do a full aluminum plating inside of here too. So if you were to take it off road and run over something like a big tree branch or something like that, it flies up and hits in there. It's not going to damage anything. It's well protected um, compared to a lot of others in our, in our industry. Just above the tire here, you also have a six gallon quick recovery hot water tank, which is pretty much standard across the board for all of Nobo um, 19 series. And it's the same size of water tank that you'd see on some larger fifth wheels. So this is great. You can simply take a shower um, and it puts out about 14 gallons per hour too. So you're not gonna be worried about running out of that hot water. Um, as we work our way through, you'll also notice you have this really cool glass door here. This is a newer feature for Nobo and they put this on here. It just really cleans up the look of this trailer for you. Gives it that modern touch. And then on the inside, of course, you're going to have a nice screen door that closes. And of course, just above that, they've added in the uh, shade ready frame here. So if you wanted to add another little uh, curtain inside there, you simply can. Now the steps on a 19 series Nobo are really cool too, because what you have now is this is called a more ride entry step. Something like this actually simply flips up inside of the trailer, which is a big benefit compared to a lot in the industry where you have them sitting underneath because over the years of use, those steps end up getting full of gravel. Um, you know, they get full of dirt and they're very hard to use. They start rusting out. So something like this, it's well protected inside the trailer. You can simply fold them down and they're adjustable on either side. So if you're on that uneven campsite, you can always get a nice stable entry inside of your trailer. Plus they give you the big oversized grab handle. Follow me on to the back now. I want to talk about some really cool features there. <clears throat> so with Nobo, of course, they give you this beautiful spare tire here and it's a full size spare. So that's that 15 inch off-road like you see on both the, the suspension or sorry, the, both the tires on the uh, actual underside of the trailer. And of course, you'll have a full bumper here. Now up above that, you're going to have a pre-wire for a backup camera and of course a ladder. The reason why this ladder is so important because Nobo offers a really, really unique feature. This actually has a full built-in uh, roof rack system on a track. So you can adjust that to different lengths, which is very unique. So say if you want to put a big kayak up on the roof or a canoe or even a bike or something like that, you can easily get up there. It's got a 500 pound roof capacity. So you, it's just that much more storage that you can use on the trailer now. On the back side over here, it's a little tight to see, but I'll describe it to you. You'll have your power cord and you even have a black tank flush system. What, if you're not familiar with a black tank flush, this is something that you can simply uh, hook a garden hose up to and it simply rinses out the inside of your sewer tank. So it keeps those anodes clean and it also keeps um, that smell from coming back inside the trailer. Here, follow me inside now. We'll talk about some of the really cool features there. <clears throat> So first thing you'll notice coming inside this 19.6 here, right at the door, you actually have this really, really nice walk like uh, closet. So a lot of small trailers like this, you don't really have the option of hanging a coat when you come in the door. So a little detail like this is great. And just underneath that, it even has a lockable safe, which is very, very cool. Now, just beside that, you'll also have a nice big pantry here. So you can easily store all of your cooking needs and things like that. Below here, you're going to have your furnace and Noble gives you another cool touch. They even have a central vac in this trailer, so you don't have to bring that broom with you if you don't want to. It actually has a sweep vac in there, so if you did still want to bring that broom, of course, you can just sweep it inside the vacuum. Now, come on inside here. I'll let you have a look at the bathroom. <clears throat> No Boundaries gives you a really cool bathroom in here. So for an example, you'll have a foot flush toilet. You'll also have a uh, sink with a medicine cabinet just above that. So you'll have some storage above and below the sink. And they even have a nice corner glass door shower. One of the very unique things on this shower here is it has a shower miser system built in. This shower miser system allows you to circulate the water back through the hot water tank so that while you're heating your water tank, you're not wasting that water. Another cool feature that we'll show you while we're in the bathroom here is just up above in the ceiling, you have a max air fan. This trailer does come with air conditioning, but a really nice touch is this runs off the battery for you so you can easily cool down the trailer. One more thing that I wanna show you in this bathroom is actually just on the wall here. So you'll see you have your control panel in here. So you'll have a light switch for the lights in here, your control panel, and just beside that, you'll have your tank heater switches. So what Nobo has done for you is they enclose the underbellies of these trailers and they spray foam insulate them. And an option that we've added is 
every single tank on this trailer has 12 volt heat pads on it. So it's great if you want to go out into that early, uh, early spring camping or late fall camping, you're set to do so. Follow me out this way and we'll talk a little bit about this great kitchen here. So one of the nice things that you'll notice right off the bat with this kitchen is the amount of prep space in here. It's, um, it's tremendous. And what uh, Nobo does too is they even recess your two burner cooktop into the countertop and they give you a tempered glass cover to give you even more of that prep space. Same thing with the sink in here. You'll have a nice cover there. And this is actually a stainless steel tub sink with a high rise faucet. A lot of things that you will notice in small trailers like this is they generally use plastic. So this is a big feature to have if you wanna put like a hot pan in there or if you're worried about it cracking in the cold, you're safe to do so. Just underneath that, you'll also have your microwave, um, just underneath the stove, I should say. And this is actually a convection microwave too because what you'll notice in here is there's no oven. And the reason why they do that is to give you as much storage space as possible in a small trailer like this, but you're still not losing out on both options of a microwave and an oven. Now, just beside us and across the kitchen here, you're gonna have this great big six cubic foot gas and electric fridge. So this is great because it gives you obviously your fridge part here and then just up above that, you'll have a separated freezer. And like I mentioned, this is gas and electric. So if you're that dry camper that goes out into the bush, you can run this off of propane, which is very important. Plus, of course, if you're at a campsite, you can simply plug it in and operate it that way too. <clears throat> Now, as we work our way through the rest of the trailer here, behind me, you'll have the couch on the slide out. And it's nice too, you'll notice it gives you still that overhead cabinets too, which a lot of trailers just leave as open space. And while we're on the top of the cap, uh, topic of cabinets here, you'll see that this is all solid wood construction here. So it's not that cheap paperboard material that you always end up seeing in trailers. Um, it's nice, strong material. They even do a hidden hinge style construction in here. And like this one here, you can see it even has a little gas strut. So the fit and finish behind a Nobo is amazing. Now, as we work our way back, this is a really cool floor plan because like I mentioned, that table can come inside in front of this couch, but you also have a seating area right up at the countertop. It's very cool. They give you two little stools here. So it's almost like it has a really nice little breakfast bar to it. Um, you know, it's, it's nice if you want to have uh, family uh, members over or friends too, because you have enough seating in here for everybody. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in this particular floor plan is the bed setup. This is really cool because now what Nobo has done is offered a Murphy bed system in here. So what you do to simply set this up is you can lift up on here. You can even access the extra storage underneath this couch right from this or through these, uh, these little uh, nettings here. And then once we set that up, it's a simple release of the pin, it slides down into place, and this mattress is gonna come down and voila, you have a bed. This is great too, because this is actually a full size queen in here. And in a small trailer like this, it's really the only way to have that walk around queen's bed, you know, to have a couch on a slide out, a big kitchen. It really utilizes the space. And of course, when it's away, you have two couches inside this trailer. So it's great for entertaining, or if it's a big rainy day, you can simply sit down in here and relax. A um, couple little touches that we also like to talk about um, for aesthetics is you'll notice these cabinets are even backlit with LEDs. So it gives you a lot of light when you're looking inside here, um, but it also really cleans the look up of the trailer. These are also very deep. So if you have some big heavy coats or things like that, you're gonna be very easily able to hang that stuff in here. On each side of the bed, you'll have USB chargers and you'll even have plugins too. Works great if you wanna charge your cell phone or if you have a CPAP machine and whatnot. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this Nobo here for us. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. I'm Tyler, uh, I work at Rangeland here and if you can reach me through my email, it's actually tyler at rangelandrv.com. Um, but feel free to give us a call and ask some questions too. And make sure you call us about our RV show pricing on right now. Thanks again for watching and happy camping.